I'm Sir TapTap, and we last left off in Pan Pan. Our ship crashed, and we found one of the five thingers that we need to fix it. And we also found a stick! So obviously, sticks are very powerful and, and is going to help us very much in our quest somehow. But we can knock away things. Um, also, Parker stopped my recording last time. So I have closed the OBS window um, and put it away so that Parker cannot activate things. He put his... He, he's really good at pressing the space bar. Guess which button is stop recording in OBS? Yeah. Uh, I need to change that or something. It's really... Actually, it's just because it's like... It, it selects by default. There we go. It selects by default the stop recording button after you start recording. So then spacebar is just activate the selected button, unfortunately. So, yeah. <laughs> You're very helpful, Parker. Par fortunately, it was not very far into the video. I just got to this point, basically. Hey, buddy, give me, give me the tube. Give me the tube, spaceman. All right, violence doesn't solve anything. Not in this game, anyway. Um, but you know, neighborhood disputes. Maybe it works then. So we got a tube! And it stores goo! Excellent. Well, we know where to get goo. So now we can use that goo for purposes. We can hit stuff with a stick. So, we've become very powerful. We can acquire goo, and we can hit things with a stick. So, I, I like games where there's very unconventional um, progress like that. So, we probably need a bit more goo than that. How much goo? We have four goo. I, I don't know how much goo we need, but probably more than four goo. Um... Seven goo? Seems like it might be enough. We'll see. So, where did we find something that would need goo? So, there wasn't anything over there. Hey, there's a tree up here. And there's an apple! I want an apple. Eh, can't get the apple. Oh, there's crap over there! I, I kind of like that with the Fog of War stuff. You get just a little peek. And you know you haven't been there yet, but you want to go there. Oh, I think I know what to do with the stick. But first... Doesn't this look familiar? This little eye thingy. Charge it with goo. And then the fluid comes out. Excellent. Hopefully that doesn't break the creepy eye column. Now where have we seen creepy eye columns? Hmm. I will admit, my first thought of what to do with the creepy eye column was actually not the correct thing to do with creepy eye column. But interestingly, we also have water. Now this is, is another part that <laughs> would have really confused me and is why I, I tend to not do puzzle games first or uh, blind for videos. Um, I guess the hint here is that the apple is green and small. And I guess the, the ground around here is supposed to look dry? It honestly does not look dry to me, though. It looks like there's extra water around the tree or something. Like, it's darker. Um, if it was, like, little... If it was, like, cracked and parched, I think that would have made more sense to me. But whatever. We have an apple now. Should we need an apple? Which, obviously, we do, because there wouldn't be just a big old apple over here. But um, we're just going to leave it in the middle of the road because we don't really know what we're going to do with it. So we don't want to take it anywhere too far. Let's get some crap. Let's get some more of this crap. Yeah, get the goo. Is it even goo? It's like shininess. I don't even know what it is. Alright. Now once again, it's time to solve problem with violence. I love the changing of the music. It's a brain damage music. Oh! 
Hold up. <laughs> so I just gotta give him a nice quick smack. No, problem is there's only four... Let's give him another. <laughs> Poor dude. Just trying to, to protect the, the little children's. But, um, here I am being a jerk about it. There we go. Sorry. You can have your kitties. I just needed them. How many times have we not used birds' unborn children in our quest in video games? Such a common puzzle element. Bird, bird watching eggs. You need to get eggs for untoward activities. How does he even pick up the eggs? A very mysterious species. Alright, so we unlock the quick way back. Angry Froge. Smack it! Smack it again! Alright, it's not gonna work. Fortunately, it has not eaten us, surprisingly. Looks like it eats apples, actually. Now, see, that's an okay hint that it eats apples. Um, how does it eat apples? It looks like it should eat them whole, but whatever. I mean, it clearly eats apples, and you need to get a big, whole red apple. Which we just did, but again, I... <laughs> I was like, why, why doesn't the apple fall from the tree? And I didn't, it just didn't click to me that I needed to water the apple. The game can be a bit obtuse. I guess puzzle games tend to be a bit more clever than they need to be in some ways. I mean, if it was too easy, it wouldn't be much of a puzzle. Spookum's cave now. I like that you can tell you're in a cave even though there's not really... The only indication of the cave entrance is kind of this mysterious floating stalactite, but the... But the lighting change kind of just, it's enough. Uh, little... Like, Metroid enemies. Hello sir, I come in peace! Ah, just kidding, I come in violence. Unfortunately, I'm not very good at violence, so you're safe. Um... Oh, there's a button. <laughs> Little eye tunnelers. Alright, we don't need to save right now. This is why I do love, as a Let's Player, um, being able to manually save is actually pretty important to me. If I auto-saved and Parker ruined my recording, like he just did a bit ago, um, I would have been screwed and I would have had to redo the game or I would have had to miss something. So I... I Gotta get this boy in here. Oh. You can't spook him too much. There you go. Go on the button. There you go. Yeah, I've had... There's been a couple games I've been playing where it's, it's autosave and something happened in a recording and I just had to be like, okay, here's what happened because the game um, broke or my recording broke or whatever. Hello, spooky man with stick. Now we need to play a block slidey puzzle? What's going on here? Oh, hello friend. You playing shadow me? Okay. So, I really like the camera by the way. The uh, You get a really good view. And you can bring it real close if you want to. Most games don't have this variety of camera. Like, you just don't get much movement, so... You know what, let's start in here. Make sure that's pressed down. Press that. I think we can press all of these. Uh, that one. I also like the indication, both with sound and visual, um, that the circles, the red circles, are the bad ones. Like, intuitively, red circle sometimes means bad, sometimes... Um, I've seen it, at least in PlayStation games, to mean good. Uh, I think in Japanese, I think there's like a Japanese difference, like the red circle is, is like bad or no. But um, with that sound effect and the buttons popping back up, you can tell, okay, don't press the red circles. Oh, let's see if we get a mood change. Oh, oh and look at our little glowy light. I love mood changes and stuff like that in games. Just look at this place. I love spooky forests. Yes. Little fireflies. 
I've had people get mad that I like things in videos, by the way. <laughs> I always thought it was the dumbest crap. Like, people will get mad, especially when I play sock pop games. Like, it would be people that were upset that I uh, enjoyed a thing. What's this? Oh, I know what you are. I see a little stick. I think we can solve this problem with violence. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's like, oh, you have hit me with a stick. I will give you a jetpack? Holy crap, best deal ever. I get to hit you with a stick and I get a jetpack. Thanks, thanks, friend. You know, your little legs. Your creepy little legs look kind of like mine. Nah, never mind. Enjoy your little hut, friend. Ooh, now we can go over the gaps. Oh, hey, we, we saw this place before. Well, now we got this thing. Making some progress. See, from the stalactites, you can still kind of tell it's a, in, in, in a cave. Nice. It's really interesting. There's no, there's no roofs anywhere in this game, but it still kind of implies the, uh, the cave stuff. Now we're back in the desert. I love these little intermediate spaces where the kind of the land, the the biomes kind of fuse into each other. So what is this? Does this? Yeah, that must go there, right? Hmm. Where else can we use this little hopper? Hello, friend. You doing work? How's the work going? I see. Hmm. Oh, hey, can we just... Oh, hey, you can. I don't even need your ladder, bridge, whatever it's called. Uh, what's here? Eyes. You know, I've got a feeling. Uh, where did we leave the eye? I think we just kind of left it where we found it, didn't we? Because we didn't know where to use it. But we do now. Probably. I mean, <laughs> when you get a you get a big stick with an eye on it, and then there's like an area with a bunch of eyes on it, I mean, there's some degrees of video game logic that are pretty clear, unlike Mr. Apple over here. I still think just a little bit of indication of parchedness um, would have indicated better to me that uh, that needed some some water. Like if there was green grass all around it, but then like dead grass just under the tree, that could have been a good hint. Let's see, that's like the exact same eye. All right, so we need this. I guess we did need the bridge, because I don't think we can... No, we can't hop across while we're carrying stuff. So there's eyes. In front of the eye, back... Between? That's gotta be a hint, so... Oh! Spooky. So it's in front of the open eye, then behind the closed eye. There was between, I think. Yes, it was. Hello, Mr. I. Hurrah. <laughs> and there's just kind of like floating stuff sometimes here, but it's all right. Huh? <laughs> this reminds me of Nog. It's like a, it's like a big face and he put his eyes in. Creepy. Gross. I, I don't like it, but I also do like it. You can just feel his judging stare. As his, like, tongue, like, pops out. Can I just take your tongue? <laughs> what? What happened here? Yeah, check out my Nog videos if you like weird heads and flat collars and puzzly things. That was a good game based on 
all of those things. Also, I love, I'm a sucker for water that is not blue or clear. Um, maybe it's lava, maybe we're burning to death, but it looks really neat and there's like pretty little uh, lily pads in there. So we have this thing and we did see something else related to those eyes. So we're gonna bring this over here. And see, this is one of those weird things in puzzle games where like you, you, you get half of a puzzle, but you can't do anything with it. And I guess in a, in a game as small as this, I guess it's not the biggest deal, but. Oh, the secret ladder under the waterfall. If you have a, a, if you have a video game with secrets and waterfalls, and there's no secrets involving waterfalls, I'm sorry, but objectively speaking, you're a bad game designer. Maybe it's too obvious, but it's it's just cool. You just gotta do it, I'm sorry. You just gotta do it. Oh, can I take a bath? No. Ah oh, yes, goo pool. <gasps> oh no! Looks like somebody else crashed. In a, in a cave? Huh. But we have this thing. Looks like they made a little cave with those leaves. Isn't that familiar? Hmm. <laughs> nice. I like when you can just hit things and they make appropriate sounds. Just dumb little things like that. I amuse my tiny brain. There's little boxes. Hmm. <laughs> this is another one of those weird moments. You just have to leave. I don't know why the game likes things like that so much. In this case, I mean, you just have to leave at some point, but... Oh, well, there it goes. Into the great unknown. Goodbye, friend. So unfortunately, we needed that for the, um, for the ship. But, uh, we'll probably see it again. Oh, gradients. How good are gradients? I gotta love some ingredients. Hell yeah. Alright, get up here. Really like the uh, the diorama feel of all of this. It just works really well. Um Where did you go? I thought you would come over here. Oh there it is. Okay, so we need to go over there. Hmm. Well, we've gone past the 15 minute mark. We should just have one more video, I think. Oh, oh, I'm stupid. Hold on. Let's activate this real quick. I didn't realize this was a tube for the, the thing. All right. So we're three out of five now. Oh. Hold up. I need, I need more goo. Hang on. We'll solve this just for a little bit of a catharsis. And then we have just a couple more things to get, which we'll definitely get in the next uh, video. Come on, give me give, give me the goo. I just need to finish the thing, come on. How much goo do you need? Oh, come on. Alright, I hate to goo tease you, but, but we'll finish the goo next time. Alright gamers, remember to like, subscribe, and smash that bell. Frog, what are you doing in my house? I, I, I would just get out. Ah!